But first, lots of celebrities make no secret of the fact they have spent thousands boosting their looks with a nip and a tuck. And now it seems that more and more of us are following in their footsteps. Official figures released today show that last year saw the biggest rise in the number of Brits having cosmetic surgery. So, is it all about our obsession with celebrities? Is that the reason so many of us are going under the knife? Hollywood star Pamela Anderson is as famous for her beach body in the hit TV show Baywatch as she is for having breast implants. And in the last year alone, the number of women now having a boob job has risen by 13%. American comedian Joan Rivers has practically made a career out of going under the knife. And it seems as Brits are embracing the surgeon's scalpel too, with face and neck lifts also seeing a big increase of 13%. X Factor Sharon Osbourne has openly talked about transforming her face and body with medical help. She's a big fan of liposuction, which had the largest rise in popularity here in the UK, with a whopping increase of 41%. Well, I'm joined now by Kyla Lynn Evans, who, like many women, decided she wanted a bit of help with her appearance, and cosmetic surgeon Alex Cowdes. It's good to see both of you. you. And looking at you, I can't see any evidence of plastic surgery. Where? What happened? Where was it done? All underneath. Ah, <laughs> OK. So um, I had six areas done, um, right. and, but I decided to do that just because it was the stubborn areas that I couldn't get rid of. Oh, I see. So that was just liposuction mm -hmm. you basically yeah. had? So just, just on the areas that right. I, I wanted, so around my hips, around stomach and um, my... Now we can see there, not a massive difference, but enough of a difference mm -hmm. to make you feel better about yeah. yourself. Yes, absolutely. That's and, that's, and it's kind of boosted me to get back into uh, the gym as well like, right. and be quite healthy. So mm. it is so I'm about five kilos off my... Um, Target weight. So. Oh, okay, so it's really helped you. Yeah, it's absolutely. been really very positive. Yeah. But you wouldn't be going down the road of having everything done. No. No, because <laughs> earlier on we were talking to Alicia Duval and she spent a fortune on plastic surgery and she's not very happy with it. Have a look at this. I've spent over a million pounds okay. and I've never wow. been happy. I know that I would look a lot better now if I had never had surgery. That is a really extreme example, isn't it, Alex? And, and mm. do you think it's about, is it about managing people's expectations? Because I'm sure a lot of people must come to you and say, I want to look like Michelle Pfeiffer. And you've ever so gently got to say to them, well, that's, there's, you know, that's not going to be possible, but we can do this. Well, Lorraine, you see, that, that is, in fact, the most difficult thing in my job is managing patients' expectations because yeah. I have to, need to try to understand what they want to achieve out of all this. Um, and it's also my job to try to guide them in such a way that I'm going to give them a natural result. You really don't want a patient of yours looking you know, weird or, yes. or, 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 or unhuman-like. It should just be that you say to somebody, you look fabulous. Mm. You look 10 years younger, mm. but you don't look... Mm odd it's exactly what you're saying you, you need to be able like to turn them away as well when, when, when that, that's the case to yes. say that, listen you don't need it you mm. know you're absolutely fine surgery is not going to help you at all in any way well in this case i mean you you just did a little bit yeah. to make you feel better absolutely and i mean i don't know how much it cost you presumably it was quite expensive but it, considering it was yeah. it was quite it was um wasn't a bad amount so right. uh, but well worth it for you yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely because something like this now i don't need to worry about any of those areas that mm. I was concerned about beforehand. Sure. And we can hear that you are Australian. <laughs> yes. So, you know, Aust Australians do, it's a, it's a much more kind of healthy lifestyle yeah. you've got out there. I know you live here now. Um, and, and I guess you want to look good in your swimsuit. Absolutely. You know, you just want to feel confident. Absolutely. And that's where, I mean, that, that's what I think is so interesting. This is where plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery or procedure can really help people. Mm. Absolutely. It also helps to, to motivate you to do, you know, for example, Kyla says she, yeah. she, she, she lost some stubborn areas which she couldn't shift through exercise. Sure. Um, and so, you know, once she's got rid of those, then mm. she can go on and do her exercise, continue with a healthy lifestyle, sure. which will obviously enhance what she has. It's, um, it's remarkable that in a recession that it's actually gone up so much, mm. particularly mm. liposuction. That's really, really increased. I mean, people are, you know, people are making sacrifices clearly, you know, maybe going mm. without a holiday mm. in order mm. to have a procedure. Well, I, th I think the, the figures show that there's a rise compared to previous years. Mm. And obviously we know the economy has been in the doldrums the last three, four years. And I think um, there's a lot of pent up demand. You know, mm. people were holding back. You know, obviously it wasn't a, an essential item that they had yeah. to spend on and so obviously now that the economy is improving people are saying okay listen I want to splash out a bit on myself now I want to look after myself and do what I would I always want to do I think if it works and you don't take it to extreme I mean mm. we've seen the extreme and, it, and it's not pretty and it's mm. and it's actually quite sad really you know people spend in fortunes and they don't look great and they don't look the way that they want to look but for you it's been great oh thank you You've been, <laughs> yeah, well you look you look terrific and it's been something that you're very happy with yes 
Yeah, so, that, so there's yeah. a positive, positive. Don't have any regrets on that. No, no, no. absolutely not. Thank you both. Great Thank to see you. you. Thank you Pleasure. very much indeed.